rebuild back the sub assembly. We've got our primary pulley here. Secondary pulley. Here's our belt. Make sure to put a, some sort of zip tie around it. This is a directional belt. It has a direction printed on the belt here. As you can see, let me show you guys. See that? So the arrow is going to be going counterclockwise from the, pri uh, the primary pulley. This is normal, by the way. Make sure everything's clean. No dust inside. We've got this thrust washer ring here. This is for the primary. We've got another bigger thrust washer ring for a secondary. So first we're on the primary pulley, the belt. Secondary. Oh. So when you guys put this on, make sure the secondary pulley is straight. You might have to Wiggle it around a little bit just to get it in. That. Make sure it's all the way in. All right. Wow. Now we have to line this metal plate here that's under. Let me show you guys. There's a metal plate here in the primary, you see it? This one? Make sure it's straight with this hole. At the back here. And then there's another one on the other side. Right under here. You guys can see that. It's got a screw hole here because we're gonna have to put in two screws from the back of this housing to hold in this uh, primary pulley. One goes here. Make sure to line that bracket in the back. And then one will go down here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Make sure the bracket in the back of that pulley is also aligned that I showed you earlier. should also change the o-rings on the speed sensors each of them have one right there as you can see here's the other speed sensor for the secondary pulley all right you guys let's recap what in the fuck did we just do so first off, 
This is the primary pulley. This is the secondary pulley. This is the chain belt. Under here, there were two thrust washers. Remember that. This is the housing. We got the housing. We put the thrust washer all the way at the bottom. We put another thrust washer all the way at the bottom of the secondary pulley. We put the primary pulley on. We put the belt around it. The belt goes this way, counterclockwise. So make sure to look at the arrow on the damn belt. Where the fuck is it? Hold on. Oh shit, there it is. Look at that. It goes counterclockwise. It goes this way. So we put the primary on. We put the belt on. Then we stuck this guy through here. And we had to squeeze it to fit into here. So it has to be fucking straight. Guys, make sure it's straight. Look at this. See that? Everything is lined up. Like if you see this side protruding up a little bit, it's not straight. You need to get that thing straight. So the way to fix that was what I did was once it's sort of in, you have to put pressure here, a lot of pressure. Actually, I put my whole body into it. Push it down here as much as you can. If you can't, what you gotta do is you gotta pry bar, lift it up a little bit, push it down again, lift it up some more, push it down again, and eventually it'll freaking snap right in and everything will be straight. Let's look at it from the top. See that? It's straight. And I want you to look at the belt. The belt is inside here. Look at this. See that? There's a belt there. It's inside here, not on the outside. Because at first, when you put the belt on, this thing isn't, the belt isn't uh, putting pressure onto it enough to, uh, to pull these apart. So once, you, once you're able to squeeze this in, the belt will go inside. Make sure to turn it a billion times, well maybe not a billion, but you know, a few times just to make sure that nothing is binding, everything is good. Look at this, I got like a little bit of that pink sealant shit residue there. So, you know, clean it up a little bit. And then what you have to do is you have to screw the primary pulley to the casing held on by two screws here. One here, one down here. See that? And you gotta make sure that there's that little metal piece down there. That's what the screw goes into to hold this whole entire thing together. This is normal, by the way. Um, then you got a speed sensor here for the primary pulley. You can see the you can see the exciter there and there's this sensor. So when this turns, it reads that to calculate how fast it's moving. And now we got the other speed sensor on this side. And if you look down here, it also has an exciter wheel and that sensor is reading that. So when this is turning, you can compare the calculations or do whatever it needs to do to get your car running efficiently. So that is kind of it for the uh, CVT uh, subassembly pulley rebuild. Um, this is the shit that fucking broke the car. So. And this is the shit that will eventually break again for sure after a hundred thousand miles or so. Look at that. What a piece of junk. This this belt snaps and it's fucking over. So 
everything else that we did was just, you know, maintenance. Because since we're in the transmission, we might as well do everything else. And next thing we got to do is we got to put all these pieces back together. So we still got to build the, uh, the main part of the transmission, the uh, pump here and everything else. That'll be on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.